All right, a couple things we're monitoring. The president is going to speak at any moment when that happens. We'll bring that to you. Also, this breaking news involving Prince Harry and his wife Meghan and her mother. A spokesperson says that the three were involved in a near catastrophic car chase involving paparazzi. It happened after an award ceremony that was in New York on Tuesday. Uh, here's part of the statement about what happened. It says that there was a relentless pursuit. It lasted more than two hours and resulted in multiple near collisions involving other drivers on the road, pedestrians, and two NYPD officers. Um, it appears that all parties are safe. This was a near catastrophic chase uh, that lasted a couple of hours. Here to talk more about this and, and really the, the larger concerns around something like this and Prince Harry and his past, including his mother's death in 1997, is Alan Alport. He's a professor of history at Syracuse University. He's also a guest um, that we appreciate having on uh, to talk all things royal. He joined us um, for the death of of uh, Queen Elizabeth late last year. And now here we are, Professor, talking about Prince Harry, who left the royal family, who wanted to be um, separate from all of the things that he had been a part of for decades, including the tragic death of his mother, now caught up in something that I'm sure opens up a gaping wound for him that he has shared publicly in his new book, Spare. Um, tell me more about um, your reaction to this and, and this event happening here in New York with Prince Harry. Thanks, Marnie. Uh, well, I am just reading about this like everybody else. Uh, and from what I understand from the, the news coverage, um, the, there, was no, there was nobody who was actually injured in the crash, fortunately, uh, or the, uh, the near, uh, near collisions that took place. But it must be, uh, as you just said, it, it must open up uh, horrible uh, memories for um, the Prince Harry, given the, what happened to his mother in 1997 under not very uh, dissimilar circumstances. He has talked about the way in which um, the death of his mother while he was still so young, you know, has affected his life so much. And also the, the way in which his decision to kind of disassociate himself from the from royal duties has been so much connected to a concern about keeping his wife and children safe, uh, particularly from the press. Uh, but I suppose one of the things this shows is that, you know, regardless of the decisions that they make about their relationship with the royal family, they are going to remain of enormous public interest. And that means that there is going to be a great incentive on the part of uh, journalists and photographers to try and get stories and to try and get photographs about them. They, they make, uh, you know, they, they, there is a huge amount of money to be made um, by, you know, by pursuing, literally pursuing Harry and Meghan. And I suppose that that is going to place them and other people in, in real physical uh, jeopardy um, as this goes on. You know, it's, it's interesting to think that he came to the United States with his family to avoid it, but there's almost more attention paid to Prince Harry and his family and Meghan and their kids now than if they had stayed, right? It's the rift in the family that has generated so much interest. Um, right. it, it almost um, makes you think that, you know, had he not done that, the attention wouldn't have been so great. It's a, it's a really tough situation he's in. Well, it's the paradoxical thing, of course, is that this this event will only increase interest in them and will increase again the incentives on the part of uh, uh, you know of the paparazzi to try and get pictures. I mean, you know, one could argue that they're in a sort of uh, you know damned if they do, damned if they don't situation because um, on the one hand they you know they, they want to try and lead a, a, a more uh, private life, um, but. That in some ways, that only because of the fact that it's generated so much controversy uh, and people know about the rifts within the family and so forth, it's just generated that much more curiosity. I mean, it, what, what I think back to what happened uh, with the Princess of Wales in 1997, and on the one hand, you know, the, the public has a slightly, uh, you know, hypocritical attitude towards it because on the one hand, there was an enormous amount of condemnation of the the journalists who were involved in Diana's death. But on the other hand, of course, you know, the only reason that they were pursuing her in the first place was because of the enormous uh, public interest in getting photographs and getting stories about Princess Diana. Um, were that to go away, then, of course, uh, you know, nobody presumably would bother them anymore. But um, I'm not quite sure what path that, that is going to that, that, that produce. 
Yeah. Well, uh, thankfully, it appears all parties are okay. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.